What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to make this video going over my Telaria XXX. One second, let me just grab it. All right. This is my Telaria XXX. I mainly got it just to move around downtown LA as I moved downtown LA in my studio. It's really close to where I live. I didn't wanna always have to drive my truck. So that was one of the reasons, well, one of the many reasons why I bought this. Also, I wanted to save on gas and stuff like that. If you haven't seen a couple of my rides already that I posted on my channel, by all means, go check out those old videos. I'll probably link them below or annotate it somewhere in the video, but this is my baby. Now, there are a few mods that I did make to the bike. If you look around the bike, you'll probably notice that it doesn't look the same as every Telaria because I added a couple things, took a couple things off, damaged a couple things, had to replace a couple things. So let's get straight into the mods. So first things first, I had somebody in the comments in one of my videos asked me about what tires I'm rocking. And these are the, so one of the main reasons I went with these tires is just that I just wanted more grip when I'm like riding around on the street. And if I wanted the option to go off-road whenever I needed to, I can do that as well. Just the motocross tires are great. They're great for cutting and they're just, they're, they feel really smooth. But for me, I just want a little more grip when I'm like moving on the street and I need to suddenly stop. I know that these are definitely gonna grab the ground a little bit more on top of the new brakes and stuff like that that I added. So that's why I went with these tires. And they look great and they give the bike a more rugged look. You get what I'm saying? It gives it a more edgy look. And I love that, you know what I'm saying? So some people think it's a dirt bike when I pull up, but then they, when they find out it's electric, they're like, oh shit, that's actually dope. So the next yeah. thing that I decided to add was these LunaCycle 220 rotors. The reason why I added those was just to give me more stopping power on my front brakes and just more stopping power in general. I like to speed and zip all around around so when I'm speeding and zipping all around I would like to know at a moment's notice that I can stop like completely you get what I'm saying granted the floor the ground's not wet or whatever type of um, pavement or surface that I'm on but I really just wanted to give myself more stopping power and I really love how these look they look really cool too so, so I also added some new um, Shimano brake pads you know you can't really see those right now and I'm thinking I'm about to swap out again I'm, I'm learning actually how much you're actually supposed to switch out your brakes on your e-bike like when you should switch them out because sometimes like they're getting to the point where they're starting to squeak a lot oh and lastly these pegs uh this is one of the first things that i was told that when i get this bike that i'm going to want to upgrade is my pegs the stock ones are a little bit skinny on the other side of this peg holder this peg holder bracket right here i kind of bent it because i fell off of the bike one time so i'm waiting for them to actually like drop replacements for the replacements for that new pegs you know what i'm saying black you know I, I like the all black look i was gonna get like some decals for my bike but i just like the stealth black look that's just the look that i always rock next thing on the bike that i wanted to talk to you guys about is the tail light if you didn't see my other video about the tail light you should go check it out i don't want to make a full-blown in-depth video about the tail light again but the reason why i got this was to be able to move around at night let people know where i'm going even in the daytime when i'm moving around these tail the tail light is pretty bright so i don't have a problem with visibility and people seeing me whether it be at night or in the day more safety is never a bad thing so the next mod that i added to the bike are these new hand grips by ori I feel like as i'm moving around the fact that it has these notches built in just gives you a little bit of extra you know grip so yeah one thing i forgot to mention that i also added to this bike was a new handlebar so the reason why i decided to put a handlebar with the rise in it is because you know i have t-rex arms i don't always want to reach all the way down here i just like the way that this feels and i like the level of control that i feel when, when i'm riding the bike so that's pretty much it in a nutshell and it, look, it looks dope you know what I'm saying so I'll link this handlebar below if you guys are interested in like you know copping the same handlebar for those of you that have like t-rex arms like me it's a great alternative so yeah and this is not necessarily a mod but I got new gloves by Fox I really love these gloves because of the grip I love how they look they just give a little extra vibey vibe to the bike it look cool you know what I'm saying so when I'm riding around let me get a little close to y'all can see those on hand when I'm riding around you get what I'm saying you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I definitely had to get me some gloves. Whenever I'm not riding, I always put them right in this little compartment. You get what I'm saying? So they'll stay right there. And then whenever I'm jumping on my bike, I move it to where I got to move it to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So new gloves. And before I forget, there's another mod slash accessory that I added, not necessarily to the bike, but to myself, which is this black band right here. Inside this band, I have the master key fob to the bike. But when I want to turn the bike on, instead of having to reach for some keys or something like that, I just literally press this button, start it up, and then I'm off. I really love this accessory. This is one of those things that I kind of like don't leave the house without. Like sometimes I forget that I'm even wearing it and I'll end up wearing it for like hours. Yeah, I wear mine's upside down. This is really the top side of it, but I wear mine's upside down. So when I'm getting on, I could just 
know what I'm saying? All right, so the next mod slash accessory that I added to my bike is this mount for my phone. The reason why I felt like I needed this is because I'm just, I'm still getting acclimated to downtown LA or just LA in general. So when I'm riding around, I don't want to be having to pick out, take out my phone out of my pocket. So I got this one. It's a really good one by Lammy Call. But yeah, I got this mount for my phone because it's really simple. All you got to do is just raise it up, drop your phone in there, lock it in. And then on the back, it has a lock on it. You just press that lock and you're good to go. So, you know what I mean? Easy come, easy go, very simple. I see a lot of people using the same exact mount. Forgot what kind of clamp this is, but it has a clamp on the back and you twist it till it gets tight and it, it really never moves unless I want it to move. So gotta love it. Quick bonus, I also put a air tag on the inside of this. It's it's in there, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's in there at all times. I know where my bike is, we good to go. And the very last thing I wanted to show you guys is my helmet, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, if you're riding these bikes, you should be wearing a helmet because it's dangerous. All right, so this right here is my Sedici helmet and I have my GoPro Hero 12 mounted to the front of it. I really ended up going with this helmet because not only does it have an inside visor that you drop down by hitting the switch on the side, but it also has a second visor, which is great for protection when I'm going 52 miles per hour or faster, I can bring this down. Then also I got my little neck gaiter. Slide this off, I put the helmet on, just makes putting the helmet on a lot easier. And then just slip this on. You guys know how to put on a helmet. And then we lock this in on the bottom. Boom. And we're good to go. When I'm moving around, I bring this visor down. I'm good to go. In terms of like if it's too sunny or, you know, just the wind is hitting my eyes and it's making me cry. Or if I want to put the visor up and put this visor down, I can do that. Also for the remaining accessories that I didn't add to the bike, like this GoPro, the mount and all that other stuff, I'm going to link that stuff below so you guys can tap into that stuff. If you guys want to know about like, you know, my helmet setup in terms of how I have it rigged up to get perfect audio and stuff like that with my GoPro, let me know and I'll make an updated video on that. But that's about it for this video. I hope it's not too long. I hope it was very informative and I hope it helped you out making some decisions on what things to get. This is everything that I decided to get after like trials and tribulation of like buying things, returning it, buying things, returning it. And I never had an e-bike before. I never even like really worked on a bike before. So the fact that I was able to change all this stuff out, do it myself and you know what I'm saying? I'm really actually proud of my progress. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but for me, you know what I mean? Uh, this is a whole new lane for me and a whole new like area to explore so make sure y'all check out those links below and if you click any of those links i get a small kickback just had to say it again because you know peace